Hi, this is CR Gaming. I just wanted to show you how to get the gliders working in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This will just be a quick glider tutorial. I'm not a glider pilot though, so some of the information may not be 100% accurate, but I can get you started. So today we're spawned in on the runway. You're always going to have a tow plane spawning in front of you, but we need to get that tow, co tow plane to start pulling. So the first thing we need to do is start moving our rudders left and right. That signals to this little guy to start running. And sometimes you need your ailerons as well, and he should start moving. There we go. Now on the takeoff roll, we got to be really careful to keep our wings from hitting the ground. We only have a single wheel in the middle, and if the wings dig in, the plane will uh, spin out of control. So we don't want that. So we want to stay behind the tow plane. we got a lot of crosswinds here, so I'm trying to use my rudders and keep the wings level. <laughs> Hopefully get off the ground pretty quick here. I'm off the ground. Let's get the tow plane. Okay, there we go. So we're successfully pulling behind the tow plane. I can pull my landing gear up now. That orange box shows that I was not in the right place. Basically, if you're too far below or too, too far to the side, the orange box will light up. If that box turns red, you're in danger of the cable breaking, which we certainly don't want. So we're just going to follow the tow plane here until he gets up to altitude. He's just going to do a predefined course and he'll make a loop around the airport at some point, increasing in altitude. I'm not going to stay on the tow that long because I'm just making a tutorial video. We do have a couple gauges that we want to be concerned with. The white gauge on the right is going to be our main gauge for determining how fast we're descending. And you see that little red indicator with the red arrows shooting upwards? That's basically saying I need my nose up. Uh, to get a better glide ratio. Now I'm still being towed, so that's not really a concern. But once we're being towed, that can be red arrows going up or blue arrows going down. And it just shows me what way I need to put the airplane to get the best tow ratio. On the left, we do have our airspeed indicator. That yellow triangle is what we want to aim for. That's going to be the best glide speed. Now I'm way above that because I'm on a tow, but as soon as I get released from the tow, that's what we're going to aim for. So at this point, I'm high enough. I'm not going to make that turn with him. I just hit this uh, yellow button right here, the big yellow knob, and that released me from the tow. So I'm gliding now. Now I do have my gear up right now, but I'm going to just make a quick turn and come in for a landing. So I'm going to put that gear back down. If you do want to fly longer, you want to fly towards the mountains. The air rushing over the mountain should give you some additional lift and should allow you to stay flying a little bit longer. Now this plane, you really can make some sharp turns. Um, it really flies nice. It's really hard to get a uh, problem with the aircraft where you're gonna overstress it. So you can really make some hard banks if you need to. So as you can see on the, on the right, this gauge is telling me I'm going way too fast. I need to put my nose up if I want the best, best glide speed. But I don't really care about glide speed right now because I'm coming in for a landing. In fact, I'm going too fast, so I'm going to pull out my spoilers. That's that red handle right here. And that's going to slow me down to get me in line for a better landing speed. I do want to land as slow as possible in that green zone, just so I'm not going super fast. Now, we do have a crosswind here, so I'm going to need to use some right rudder to get the plane straight. And again, I do need to keep those wings level. If I smash the wings into the ground early, that's not going to end well. So I'm using a significant amount of right rudder here. As you can see, the little string on my nose is pointing to the right. And I'm actually at full spoiler right now to keep her slowed down. And we're on the ground. Let me get the nose down. And that's pretty much it. And as I stopped, as you can see, I'm falling to the left right now. And that's it. You do see that I have those... Spoilers up right now. That's the down position. This plane does not have any flaps, so um, you do need to land at a decent speed that you don't stall, but it does have a fairly low stall speed being a glider. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.